think science through the 20th century has been founded on this assumption that the real world is the world of space, time, matter, energy, and that consciousness somehow arises out of it from whatever goes on in the brain. And that's still the standard view. But there are deep, deep problems with that view. Um, how does something unconscious, we assume matter is unconscious, how does it ever give rise to conscious experience? And where do we draw the line? You know, we assume our pets are conscious, we assume other animals are conscious, how far down the evolutionary line do we go? And if we do draw a line, we have to explain how below the line there's no awareness, above the line there suddenly is awareness. And these are deep, deep fundamental problems for the modern scientific worldview. And what is beginning to happen, and it's only just beginning, but the more adventurous scientists and philosophers are beginning to say, well, maybe consciousness was there already. It's part of the cosmos. It's a universal field. And what has evolved is not that consciousness has suddenly appeared in the world, but as life has evolved and got more complex, so the appearance in consciousness, the experience, the forms that arise in consciousness have got more complex. And so now with mammals and human beings, we have this incredible experience of the world in our consciousness. So it's the contents of consciousness, if you like, that have evolved. And in that sense, science is now beginning to point back towards what many of the great mystical traditions have said, which is that ultimately it is all consciousness, that consciousness is fundamental. And we can begin to see that in our, in our own experience, that everything we know is from our, our experience. That's all we ever know is our actual experience. And so the two are, are beginning to come together. They're not there yet, but it's... <clears throat> But it's coming together through this realization that consciousness doesn't come out of matter, but consciousness actually is part of the essential nature of the cosmos. But assuming consciousness is fundamental means we have to change anything in science. All that we've discovered in quantum theory, relativity, molecular biology, all that still stands. None of that changes. All that we have to change is our assumption as to what it is we're actually measuring. And we're not actually measuring matter because what we're realizing is matter itself doesn't exist. There's just potentials for observation. And so we let go of the idea that we're measuring matter, but we see what we're measuring is an aware field of information. And that then opens up, I think, a whole new way of looking at the world, but it doesn't change anything we've discovered. And we can still keep on discovering how the universe works. It doesn't change any of that. I think that's what makes it, in a way, a safe proposition. We're not saying all science is wrong. We're saying science is absolutely right. We just have to change the way we understand what science is doing.